WD's red and black hard drives are pretty similar. In this video, we're going to take a look at the differences between the two and which one's right for you. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Hi guys and welcome to Tech Team GB. Now as I said, these drives are pretty similar. They're both three and a half inch, fairly standard height uh, hard drives with obviously multi-platter systems. And um, they both use the SATA, standard SATA interface, SATA data and SATA power. And they ha have, you know, all the same mounting codes, pretty much exactly the same, except for slight internal differences. Now we're gonna start off with the blacks uh, and the blacks go up to six terabytes, also actually the same as the reds. This one has 128 megabytes of cache, and basically, uh, to summarize, the more cache you have, the better. Also, according to WD, these have a dual-core processor on them to be able to more quickly process the data and store them on the hard drives. Now, I've, uh, I've tested the sort of speeds between these, and there isn't a massive difference, but the key thing is that um, with the blacks, you're gonna still get a lot of, uh, generally a lot more performance, um, and they're just generally designed for and performance application, whether that be gaming or whether that be video editors trying to edit or, uh, edit on 4K video, um, just anything like that, that's what these are for. Now the WD RED drives, while well, very similar both physically and sort of generally similar, they are rated for uh, NASes or network attached storage. Now uh, the, the difference between that is that these have a higher mean time between failure, so they're designed to be on 24-7 and running, whereas these are designed to be turned off and, and left off for a while or, you know, go into hibernation. So this one is the sort of one that you can throw in an ass and not have to worry about it dying if it's being left on all the time. Also, these are rated to be in close proximity to other hard drives, so uh, I believe they're up to eight, so when they're, you know, kind of stacked in a NAS, um, you don't have to worry about the vibrations, even if the NAS has anti-vibration mounts. Um, you don't have to worry about any vibrations breaking the hard drives inside, so that's really nice as well. Now obviously there are a few other differences as well, but those are the kind of key ones that you need to know about. Obviously the warranties do reflect this and feel free to check out the WD website to see uh, what the current uh, sort of status of that is. But basically if you're looking for a NAS, check out the Reds. If you're looking for a high performance drive, check out the Blacks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you feel, uh, you know, if you learned something from this, feel free to leave a comment down below and leave a like. If you didn't or didn't like the video, feel free to hit the dislike button, but let me know why in the comments down below. Subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Thank you to WD for sponsoring the video, and we will see you all on the next one.